Uh, this is a full, uh, so it's a number, number of machines here, but a full setup for a, a four to one coil binding. You could also do some other kinds of uh, spiral coil binding with it other than four to one, which is currently set up for that. I'll walk you through the machines real quick and then we'll show you them operating as best we can. We don't have any coil here where we can show you what everything does and everything works. Uh, this is just an extra machine we included. Uh, it's a coil inserter here. You would take some already punched paper and you would start the coil. We're rolling in a little bit and then this has a foot pedal. You would run the foot pedal and it would spin the coil in for you. It also has a coil, coil diameter gauge up here, um, and you can also check the pitches over here. Now, you won't probably really be using that, but we're including it as well as, I guess, a backup or an extra piece. Um, this is a punch. It has quick change dies. You just drop these two levers here, one on either side, and then the punch over here slides right out. You'll see we got a four to one round right now is what's in it and what this is mostly set up for. And that, so but you can change it that quickly. So if you buy another die, um, you can use different sizes, different, all kinds of different coil, different binding. You can even do comb binding, three hole punching, anything with this thing really. You just gotta get the right die for it. Um, this has got an automatic uh, ejector and stacker with it. So there's actually a belt here that kicks the paper out afterwards. It goes through here. This will actually grab it for you and stack it into here, into this tray. And this can be set to wherever you want it. Um, this is the foot pedal. I'm actually going to put down here for myself. Uh, that runs both these two machines together. There's also some options here. You can have it uh, do landscape or portrait. You know, it doesn't have. You can turn it off. If you don't want to use that at the current moment. Um, this is your coil inserter. Um, I have a book here somewhere that shows an example. Um, what you would do here is there's different. These are these change out. These can come out for different size coils. Um, how this would actually work is you would set your guides up here with, with a coil not in the book. It would just be the, after you punched it. You slip the coil on here, and you have this lever here. You can either run it forward or reverse. When you lift this, drop it, sorry. It would spin the coil into the book here. And it's just activated by dropping this knob down. It has a guide here for all the different size coils, and you can get different uh, dies here for all different size coils. Um, after you've done that, this has already been crimped here, but uh, when, after you inserted it on the last machine, there would have been some excess. You would put it into this machine here. These are both knives right here that both cut it and they fold it under. You can see that's folded under right there. So you would have taken this after it's inserted and you just, you would see down here on either side, that'll just cycle. So that actually cuts and crimps it under. So these guides can be set up for any size. You just slide it in, hit the button, and you have a finished book. So you're going to be punch, you would stack it, insert the coil on here, and you crimp it off and you got a book. Uh, we'll show you some, that's actually the manual for the crimper. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and show you some punches here. So again, I have a foot pedal down here I'm using to activate this. You just put it in there, 